I have a 24 by 40 foot tarp. Yeah, we're gonna attach it to, go ahead, you first, puppy dog. <laughs> Come on, buddy. <laughs> Hey, good morning guys. Welcome back to our off-grid cabin build here in North Idaho. If you're new here, we make videos at least three times a week documenting our journey, moving off-grid and building our off-grid cabin here in North Idaho. For you that are always here, I got a good important question for you. In the last video, we skipped a step, right? We skipped this wall build and jumped right into this part of our house being built right here. In this video, we skipped this part of the framing right here, and we're jumping right into kind of a summary of where we are right now. My question for you is, do you like the skipping of things that we've already been doing, right? We showed you building that wall, we showed you building this wall, we showed you building that wall, and then we skipped this one. Are you cool with that, or would you rather us show you everything? Put it down in the comments below. I don't want to bore you, but I also don't want to leave things out that you guys would really like to see. So let's talk about where we are right now and what we're going to be doing today. We've got this wall up right here. You saw us plumb this one in and you saw that we had the bathtub. There's no bathtub there. What happened? Well, we cleaned the bathtub out and we found that there was like a hole, not a hole, but a big dent right in one of the corners. We didn't inspect it when we bought it. I just assumed it was gonna be good and it came back to bite us. So we took it back to Home Depot and they took it no problem, right? So we exchanged it, we didn't exchange it, we got our money back. We're gonna wait a little while on getting the tub now. In order to get it out of here, we had to cut out these two studs right here, cut them down here with the Sawzall, pull them out right there. So not a big deal. We'll have to get it in there before we frame the stairs in which are going right here. So the plan is, Right in here somewhere, we're going to put our front door. Then there'll be stairs that come up this way, and come up this way, going up into the attic or the second story loft, right? So that'll be there. Over here, we framed in Sarah's bedroom, right here. This is Sarah's bedroom, 10 by 10-ish, 10 by 9-ish, somewhere around there. And this right here is the laundry room slash mud room. Plan on parking out here and eventual, hopefully, garage extension going out this way some year down the road. But we got this door here for that purpose so we can add on going this way. Come in, mud room right here. Possibly, the original plan was to have um, dryer, washer, water heater. But Seth came up with a really cool idea, except for one minor problem. Seth's idea is that we put the washer and dryer right here, and then we're gonna have a tankless hot water heater to go right up there on the wall, and then we'll have all of this for shelving and storage, like a pantry. I like that idea, except for having the plumbing in the exterior wall. Tell me what you think about that. Plumbing in the exterior wall, should we avoid it at all cost? Or can we just add some extra insulation around the piping and it should be okay, All right? So let me know about that down below. <sighs> what are we gonna do today? I've been talking a lot. We're gonna protect this floor. Bam, baby. We're gonna try to protect this floor. It is it has a number one exposure rating and it's supposed to be good for right getting wet during construction. But why take the risk if you don't have to? Let's see what we're gonna do. What you got there, Jules? I have a, hey, there's a raindrop. I know, it said rain in 20 minutes. Ooh, we better hurry then. <laughs> I have a 24 by 40 foot tarp. Yes. What are you gonna do with that? Yeah, we're gonna attach it to, go ahead, you first, puppy dog. <laughs> Come on, buddy. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna attach it to our roof. And like Marty said, that'll help protect the floor. And then also we're going to attempt to catch all that rainwater and transfer it to our big water totes so that we can use that rainwater and maybe not have to make as many trips to town. That's our goal. Sweet. <laughs> Look, it's starting to rain. I know. Man, you the weather. Light rain. The weather is so weird. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna go ahead and start stretching this guy out and see if it really is the size that it said it was. What are you eating the wood for, Dan? 
Makes him throw up. You shouldn't yeah. eat it. Bad for you. It's bad for you. Yeah, throw up on a brand new floor. No, he already has. We've got the ocean <laughs> tidal wave coming our way. No, let's go in here. We brought it to like basically the halfway down the house where we have these interior walls. Wanted to make sure that it actually fits across the house, right? Which it does. And the danger is, right, that you'll have water pooling because you've got these four walls right here. So you're gonna have a big puddle right here. I have a swimming pool right here above my head. And over there, and over there, and right there. So we've got to figure out a way to prevent that and encourage all of the water to go that way, right? We want all the water from this side of the house to run down this way, where we'll collect it over there in the living room. All right, so my idea, my idea is that we take some two by fours, we got a ton of scrap, and raise, raise this side two feet up, right? So we'll screw them to the outside of the house, two feet up about roughly a foot to two feet, and then we'll attach the tarp up there. So it'll actually be a foot to two feet higher all the way up to right here, okay? And then here, we'll attach it to the top plate of the house the rest of the way down. So hopefully that'll be up high enough and stretch tight enough to encourage the water to go that way. We'll see. Another thing that we could do if that's not quite good enough is take a two by four um, long ways right here and push it up this way to create like a ridge coming right down this um, hallway wall. We could put another one on this side if we had to, but then that would make it even a little bit taller right in the middle. So they want to go to the sides and hopefully whew, down that way. We'll see if it works, but um, it's a fun little project, not too expensive. Tarps at Walmart are cheap. So if we can collect some rainwater and not have to go to town as often to get it until we get our well put in, that'd be awesome. We gotta kinda try to line this thing up and get it about where we want it before we screw it all in there. Hopefully we line it up where the grommet's gonna be. This is all just an experiment, right? Wind may come and tear this thing off. Five minutes after we get it up, who knows? <laughs> but it's fun kind of trying. So far we've got that one there up and then two over there. Just looks like the ocean. So we're gonna put a nail in, but first we've got to line up where the grommet goes. So we take our nail and put it in our mouth. That's the appropriate nail holder. <laughs> <laughs> and then we pull our tarp over and we say, mm, look at that, it ain't gonna fit, dude. Uh -oh. It's too far, it's not. <laughs> oh, it's the wind. Oh man, I don't think it's gonna fit. Well, let's just try it. We'll try putting it at a bit of an angle here. See if we can get it on there and then maybe we can bend it over. Oh, you got right. it. Nice. Got that part. Oh. Alright, there we go. We got a hook. Nice cool, man. Job. Okay, so we'll see. Let's go down and take a look at it and see what it looks like. What do you think? I think. We still have we still have two swimming pools back there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Maybe these, these middle ones here. Yeah. Are too high or too far out. See how it's like creating this like wall right here. Yeah. And so I think maybe if we move them to the inside of the wall, that'll bring them closer together, and so it will sag more in the middle right there, and yet still be functioning. I don't know for sure. Safety hazard. Supposed to be going back further. Set, uh, just as back as far as you can, I guess. I mean, just wherever the rivet is that you can reach, or the grommet. Well, I mean, if I, I could go one more, back one more, it'd be easier with you. Okay, then you need to move your ladder back, probably. Oh, where'd she go? It might just work. We shall see. A few more nails to go here. Let's see how it looks. We've got a roof now, guys. Bam, look at that. 
Yeah, it's a tarp. It's expanding our tent city. That is true, very true. But it might keep the floor in here a little drier when it rains, hopefully. Also, hopefully we'll be able to collect a little bit of rainwater off of it. So we got it up higher, right over here, like you guys saw earlier. And it comes down lower here. And I'm hoping that this right here is gonna turn out to be the lowest spot. So all of the water, 900 and some odd square feet, is gonna end up right here. We've got this three inch drain pipe right here, 10 feet long. That's what we're gonna use, right, for the sewer line in the house, like from the toilet to the main line that goes out to the septic tank. So we're not like wasting it. We're gonna connect it right here. We're gonna try to and run it right out there. And then hopefully guys, if all works as planned, although it's a pretty weak plan, it'll end up inside of this tote somewhere down here. And then we'll be collecting rainwater. That'd be pretty cool, at least temporarily. Because if I didn't already tell you, the trust company that's bringing our trusses, right, for our attic trusses, there's a delay. Not really a delay, but they are booked up. So we've got a few weeks that we need to wait for our trusses. So we're just gonna try to keep this dry during that time. So we wanna run a little experiment here. My radar says that it's supposed to be raining very lightly and it is just barely sprinkling, but we're gonna spray some water up here and see where the water runs and if it collects where we want it to. Jules, will you take the camera, go inside and watch the spray? Watch the spray. Yeah, like watch where it lands and where it goes. I think you should be able to see it through the tarp, hopefully. Uh, okay. Let's go. All right. We're going to be spraying water with the power of the sun. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're ready. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and look at that, man. There's nothing. It's a kink in the hose. There we go. Woo! Now we've got a downpour. There we go. Look at that right there. Puddling up right here. No. Okay, right here. It's still staying in Sarah's room. It's going down. Yeah, that one goes down good. This does good, but all that other stuff stays up in that room. The first water that you sprayed at the north side of the house is still at the north side of the house. <laughs> I'm gonna try to get over to the other side and yeah. spray it on Seth's room and the bathroom. Okay. All of this water starting to puddle here, but then it goes zoop, and it makes its way into the bathroom. But it's just gonna stay and pile right here. Hmm. Or this water up here too diverted and goes to Sarah's room. <laughs> All right. So. Well. We're gonna end up with two, well, three really. There's a big puddle there, big puddle there, and then in the bathroom, it's gonna puddle really bad in here. The plan is that we take this ring and it will fit down inside of this elbow here. Okay, but we're gonna put it right here where the water collects in the tarp, okay? So the lowest spot. And then on the other side of the tarp, We'll push this down and it's going to force the tarp down into this fitting. We'll hit, tamp it down with a hammer and then we'll just cut an X in the tarp and hopefully all of this water will go in here and out of the house. All right, let's give it a test. Not the lowest spot anymore. All right. Well, it gives us something to work with now. How do we make this the lowest spot? I think we're gonna have to raise that in because that end of the pipe is heavy, so it's forcing it down. Even if we raise it up all the way, it's not the lowest spot anymore. There is no rain in the forecast for at least the next ten days, but there you have it. It's going right there on the ground. If rain happens to come up in the forecast, we'll get some more pipe and we'll extend it out and put the tank down on the ground. 
and prepare for that rain. It seems pretty unlikely though, but at least we're gonna have shade, right? For working in here, doing electrical, doing plumbing, things like that, we'll have some good shade to do it in because it's supposed to be pretty sunny and pretty hot. So I've got one more question for you guys. There'll be a pole that pops up right up here, a pole, okay? The wind just gonna rip it off and it's gonna be gone or this is gonna stay here until we get our trusses. What do you think? Vote up there in the poll and we'll see what actually happens, okay? If you wanna see more about what's going on here on our homestead, there's a video right over here you can go ahead and watch. Otherwise, I hope you guys have a really great day. Keep smiling and I'll see you right over there in just a second. <laughs>